<clears throat> right hello everyone uh, in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to send emails from your local host server so whether you're using WAMP or XAMP or I mean XAMP or um, or you know you've just installed everything yourself through uh, you've just downloaded Apache and MySQL and PHP either way this will work right so it's actually pretty simple the first thing you want to do is you want to download sendmail.zip so you can go to this website here or if you don't want to remember this you can just uh, google um, localhost sendmail and it should come up uh, when you get to this website you're gonna click on this link here and it will download it and then you know you're gonna want to go to your downloads folder and um, unzip it and all that stuff but i've already done that so i'm not going to do that again so once you've done that once you've downloaded it you've you've unzipped it and you've stored it in a, a suitable location in fact i will show where i've stored my mind inside my apache folder and the folder is named Zenmail, and it just has these files here in it so once you've done that you're going to want to open up php.ini and sendmail.ini from this folder and um, you should i assume you know where your php ini file is i will add that you will have to have a local host server set up this tutorial is not on how to set up a local host server so i uh, presume that you already have a local host server set up either wamp xamp or your own custom configuration so yeah once you've opened this file up in your php.ini file you're going to want to um locate the following line i can't remember was it just there oh yeah here it is okay you can ignore all of these this is the important line you want to so if this is commented out then uncomment it and add the path to your sendmail.exe file which is in the folder that i just had to open i'll open it again just to make that clear that is here so you want to add the path to that and then this dash t flag at the end and then in the sendmail.ini file you're going to want to locate the following um following information underneath this send mail line and you're going to want to have it use smtp.gmail.com smtp port is 465 the auth username will be an email address and actually i'll just point out now you will need a gmail account for this and um what i did to send emails from localhost is i just created an email address used only for this purpose because there are some settings that you will have to change so yep add the email address of the gmail account you want to use and the password for the gmail account that you want to use for obvious reasons i have left these two as these default values because i don't want to um show everyone the uh, login details to my email address so once you've done that you're going to want to restart wamp or xamp or your local server so it picks up these values that you've changed and then if you try and send an email straight away you'll get an error because it's an insecure you're using your gmail account and it's insecure it's not authentic it's not um using ssl or any modern uh, security features which obviously don't matter because it's localhost but gmail don't know that so they will complain and it will it will fail so what you need to do is you need to sign into your gmail account that you want to use you need to go into the uh go into your my account and the sign in and security tab and then you want to um, get uh, find this, locate this, allow less secure apps, and turn it on. So if it's off like that, you want to turn it on. 
and then that will allow the uh, it will allow the connection so once you've done that you can create a little test which is what I've done here so yeah uh, just using the simple mail function from PHP this file is named index.php and it's in a mail folder inside my htdocs folder so I'll go to that file which is here refresh the page and yep yeah, you see that it says true and just to show that it does work I'll go to my email address I think I'm logged in and mail I should have had an email at 8.50. Okay, yeah, 8.52. It must have just changed to 8.53. And you'll see... If my computer speeds up a bit... Yeah, what's going on with this? Come on. Second time lucky, hopefully. My computer's playing up. Yeah, there we go. You can see subject of the email. This is the body of the email, which comes from here. Subject of the email, this is the body of the email, headers. Yeah, so that's it, it's that simple. Uh, yeah, um, if you do run into any issues, which I don't think you will, then feel free to leave a comment and I will reply as soon as possible. If you found this video helpful, then you should subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And until next time, take care.